Being a kid can be harder than it looks. Sometimes it helps to have an adult around. All right, That's all right, why all right. Mr. Farrell takes time out of his day to volunteer with local youth groups. I'm so proud of each and every one of you. Uh, let's get ready to read some books, all right? Read books on five. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five. Read, read books! books. Mr. Farrell uses reading to teach valuable lessons of communications. Okay guys, let's keep these books coming, all right? I'm so proud of you guys came out here today. Get them on the shelf. I'm gonna get them on the shelf fast. Get them on the shelf, then you can read them. Flip through the pages. Time here, we're gonna move quickly. Get these books on the shelves quickly. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're dropping the books. Dropping the books. You're supposed to be reading. You're supposed to read the books. All the books. Go in the corner. Read Emerald's Potluck. Yeah. In 1885, There's no substitute Edison met for the hands-on guidance a librarian Ohio can provide. Industrialist. Although she was only a few years old. I found, I found two. Did I say you could turn around, Ryan? Emerald's Potluck. I want a potluck dinner on my table tonight. Just trying to get this guy. Uh, I'm trying to get this open here, guys. If you watch me, put the give it the hammer up a lock, get it open. Why are you breaking into that locker, Mr. Farrell? Oh, there's. I'm not breaking in. I just didn't uh, forgot my combination. There's some overdue library books in here. Cops! Cops! Everyone for themselves! Everyone for themselves! <laughs> 